Do you actually know what type of drive your vehicle has? Drive is what determines how your car grips the ground based on its ability to transmit the engine's power to the wheels. It can be to the rear wheels, the front wheels, or all four wheels simultaneously, for example, like this car which has all-wheel drive. And the most adaptable and truly off-road drive is this one four-wheel drive. Let's take a look at the differences and advantages of each one in a super simple way. In general, the cars we see on the street use only two wheels for propulsion, and in most cases, it's the front wheels. That's called front wheel drive. It's efficient for driving on the most common surfaces in the city and on the road, and it provides good vehicle control in rainy conditions and light snow, because the weight of the engine is in the front over the wheels that drive the car, which gives them more grip on slippery surfaces. Front-wheel drive also has a certain complexity because it has to handle three tasks, providing traction, following the steering movements, and accommodating the suspension. In other words, the wheel is combining three different forces, each of which is complicated on its own. Consequently, special mechanisms are needed to compensate for these movements in order to continuously transmit the energy produced by the engine, regardless of whether the wheels are spinning, turning, or moving up and down. These mechanisms are known as constant velocity joints. Homo means equal and kinetic comes from movement. So it means equal movement. They are also known as tripod joints. These joints are crucial and require a special type of grease. It's called molybdenum disulfide, which can withstand a lot of pressure and movement and protects the parts from wear. Rear wheel drive is preferred in the sportiest cars. It offers a more balanced and agile driving feel in corners, since the front wheels are only responsible for steering. Rear wheel drive is used in heavy cargo transport. To transfer all of the engine's available power from the front of the vehicle to the rear wheels, there's a system made up of the drive shaft, commonly known as the prop shaft, the universal joints, and the differential, which is a gearbox that distributes that power to the wheels. Everything has to be in a perfectly set position, one in relation to the other, so that the engine's rotation reaches the differential exactly the same, regardless of the suspension's movements. And that drive shaft is connected to the gearbox through these components, the universal joints. All the energy generated by the engine passes through here, and special lubricating greases are required, usually lithium-based, the same ones also used in chassis. All-wheel drive is a system in which all four wheels provide traction, and an intelligent electronic control distributes power individually to each wheel as needed to improve grip and stability. When the system detects uneven surfaces, slipping conditions, or loss of traction, it automatically adapts to changing road conditions in a matter of fractions of a second. If it's raining on the road or you're driving on an icy path, Having grip on all four wheels gives you a level of safety and control that no other traction system can match. And no matter what the road conditions are, you'll always have the maximum possible grip. And finally, we have four-wheel drive. It's the only one with true off-road capability. It's essential for leaving the road and venturing into really tough terrain. It offers superior control in the most challenging conditions, preventing the car from slipping on surfaces like mud, gravel, sand, snow, or any difficult terrain. This system adds a transfer case that, when engaged, splits 50% of the torque between the rear and front axles, and it has two differentials that allow the other wheels to keep pushing if one loses grip. It also has a reduction gearbox that multiplies the engine's power, lowering the speed but increasing the torque. This way, the strain on the transmission is significantly reduced, especially in extreme off-road situations. All vehicles, regardless of their type of drive, whether front wheel, rear wheel, all wheel, or off-road, depend on specific lubricating greases and oils to drive efficiently and reliably.